I'm Kathy Zhang, a self-taught watercolor artist, and I started painting in 2015. I followed the conventional path and did the stable 9-to-5 thing for over 10 years before I decided to venture out on my own and make a living from my creativity. I'm here to share what I learned. Hi everyone, this is Nam from Easy Sunday Club and today I wanted to walk you guys through and do a product review on this 3-in-1 greasing machine that we recently got, got off of Amazon. So uh, what Kathy and I do is we make greeting cards that are like this and we would print them out of, we would print, we would print them um, out of our uh, printer and it looks like this. We would cut them and then we would have to crease them by hand with this um, Martha Stewart uh, creasing board that comes with this uh, creasing uh, scoring tool. And it was driving me crazy just because uh, we would have to do a high volume amount of cards. And also when I would uh, use it to score down, sometimes I would miss one of the ridges and it would get crooked and then we would have to throw away the card. So basically the issues were that it was a lot of manual work and it wasn't scalable over um, the amount of cards that we had to make over a uh, holiday. So kind of the reason why I, I like found this was um, I went on YouTube and Amazon and was finding some sort of machine that scores or creases and this is what I ended up finding that was the right price point which was around $150, $160. Uh, and um, that we could give it a try. And there was no uh, videos or not a lot of reviews on, on, on how well this worked. So it was kind of a gamble and um, it was an inv investment in equipment, but it's actually uh, worked out pretty well. And I wanted, you, um, I wanted to kind of walk everyone through it. A um, little bit of um, stats on this thing. Um, it's 25 pounds, so it's um, pretty uh, heavy. Um, available on Amazon or on eBay. Um, there is no one particular brand that is better than the other. It seems that this is um, made uh, <coughs> generically all over um, in China somewhere and uh, a bunch of different uh, brands just uh, take this machine and just kind of sell it on different channels either on Amazon or on YouTube. Um, the, um, the, the length of it is about 20 inches, so it does take up um, a good amount of space, but you only need to use it when you need to score a high volume of cards at a time. Otherwise, we usually have it um, tucked away. Um, some things that it comes with is it comes with this really uh, thin operational manual and not that many instructions on there so it is something you kind of have to figure out yourself but luckily it's not too crazy and it does come with um, Ikea's favorite tool an Allen wrench. So I wanted to kind of walk you through and give you a better close-up of the creasing machine. So if you look right here there's um, a ruler and it's in inches um, and centimeters so that you can kind of have the guides um, guide you as you try to figure out where you want to crease uh, the paper that you want to crease. Um, the, the guides are, move, are moved around by these um, kind of circle screws and then you can move the guides depending on the size of your paper. And the trick is if it's about the size of a, a piece of paper right here then it lines up with the blade that's inside the machine. Um, these guides are not um, the easiest things to move around. I mean, you, you do gotta um, unscrew it and screw it down pretty hard, but I, I think that's kind of the point because once you have it screwed down, then it can be really honed in in there. So it makes sure that the paper doesn't move around as it goes through the machine. Um, I'm gonna open up the machine real quick. Once you open up the guts of the machine, then you can see it's kind of a very rudimentary mechanical machine that's uh, not too complicated. And um, 
I'll try to turn on. So if you see when you try to turn on the machine with the cover off, um, because of the switch uh, right here, it it doesn't let you uh, turn it on because there are blades in here that can be uh, potentially be dangerous. Um, this machine comes with uh, four uh, or six different blades. So I'll try my best to uh, walk you through them. So right here are the actual um, guides of the machine that will guide the paper through. Um, the blades, different blades that they have is that they have a really sharp uh, cutting blade. So this one's right here. It kind of looks like a pizza cutter. So um, the point is that if you were to put it right here and it guides the paper through, then it would cut it in half. You have a perforation one right here. If you can see the, um, the blade has, uh, it's not fully continuous. If you look at it, it kind of has separations uh, in beneath. And um, the point of that is if you want to make one of those um, flyer cutaways, like you want to put your, um, your phone number in a truck stop and say I'm looking for a roommate and uh, kind of um, have your number there and you can pull those, uh, those little flyer uh, pieces off, then you can, you can kind of have that. And also um, the one that we use is, are the ones in the middle right here, which is kind of a duller um, blade that doesn't actually cut. But um, what it'll do is that it'll end up creasing the paper so that it'll make it easier to fold. So that's what we're kind of looking for. So like I said before, we have our tr trusty Allen wrench. And the point of this is to be able to go to um, whatever uh, blade that we want so that we can adjust it at different lengths so that um, so that it'll score at just the right depth. If you adjust this and it goes down all the way too much, then I'll, uh, no, even though it's a, a duller blade, if there's no uh, room in between this uh, metal part right here and the blade, then it will cut the paper. Uh, likewise, if it's not uh, 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 deep enough, then it won't score at all. So um, that's kind of the adjustment. And unfortunately, because this is kind of in its own way, um, it's an automation tool, but it, it is very manually adjusted. You gotta um, you gotta do some testing with it to to figure out what it's just right. Um, cool thing is that once you have all the settings just right, then you can just set it and forget it. Um, and then so now we have it at the perfect settings that we want to um, to actually. Uh, make our cards and we don't even think about it anymore. We just let it go and like we never even adjust it. Um, the cutting tools, uh, the, the cutting um, function and the, and the perforation function, we, we probably won't ever end up using. So um, I'll go and just give you um, a quick uh, demonstration of how it is to adjust one of the blades. So I have everything set up to adjust. And if you look right here, um, I don't know if you can tell, but as I am unscrewing this and the blade is raising off, uh, raising up at a, at a more uh, pronounced angle, and as I am putting it down, then it goes um, a little bit uh, deeper. So that's one adjustment you can make for each of the individual blades. The other adjustments you can make are up here at the ruler area. And this will allow you to uh, move the blade uh, back and forth depending on where you want it on the machine or you can remove it all together. So for example, if I wanted to um, keep these, these, these settings here, then I would, uh, to guide the paper through, then I could do that but then I would have to move all of these over to the right and then move this one, uh, move this over into the middle. Or if I just wanted to cut the margins over here, then I, I can have all those adjustments. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to uh, show you um, how to use this to score a piece of paper. And I'll do that with the lid open just so that you can see how it works. So I'm loading the paper here and these blue uh, rollers right here will feed the paper through and this scoring um, blade right here will be the, the one that actually um, scores 
the paper. And if you can see, there's um, a crease in the middle of the paper now. And then now we can put the crease a little bit uh, flatter and then it'll make our green card. This is something Kathy made recently. Um, it says, I love you even when you're cranky and it's to uh, puffer fish. So super cute for Valentine's Day. And that's how you do it. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now also is do a quick test of the, um, the cutting blade so you can see how that works. If you can see, it kind of cut the paper open, but if we can put in more depth and it'll cut it even more. And then last but not least, um, I'll show you the perforation tool. And if you can see, there's kind of a perforation uh, right there. So like I said, usually the actual tool is um, set up like this where um, where the lid's on there and that's where it hits the switch over here to keep it on. Otherwise with the lid off, it's kind of dangerous. Um, people can't hurt themselves with with the blade. So it's better to uh, to leave, to, to have it the lid closed. Um, button always comes a, a second, but safety, safety is always first. So, um, I'm readjusting uh, the ruler right now just because I want to get it ready for next time when we actually do have cards. And when, you can imagine when we have a high um, stack of cards that we have to do, then I can go ahead and just put it in there and then that's all I have to do. I guess what we could do also is, um, right now we're cutting the cards by hand, but what we could do is just have a whole stack, um, crease all of them, and then feed these through, through to, to actually cut. But our cutting machine is uh, pretty um, fast, so we don't really uh, need to, to do that right now. I think if uh, we could have anything that we would change about it, it would probably be, um, better instructions, um, a catcher over here to uh, kind of catch as we are doing a lot of things at once because sometimes it kind of piles up back here. And the last thing would probably be um, a little bit faster adjustments for the blades and for the rulers. But for the price point of $150 or, or whatnot, I think um, can't ask for much more. Uh, looking at some of the other uh, more other machines out there, they're, they start going to the 200s or 300s, and a lot of them are manual, so can't really uh, justify the cost of that. So if you are uh, continuing to make cards um, at home and not really ready to send them out to professional printer and scale that way, then I think this is a really great uh, home option. That's pretty much it. That's uh, the review of the three-in-one creaser. Um, please let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments. We love to engage with the community.